Welcome back, everybody. Generative AI generating opportunity in the labor market with job postings climbing 6,000, 6,000 percent this year. Kate Rooney has more. Kate? Hey, Tyler, that's right. So workers want to get in on that buzz around chat GPT and generative AI. There's been a surge in interest in AI-related jobs. It's according to Indeed. Searches that include AI were up 20-fold. The CEO tells me there's not nearly enough jobs, though, available to keep up with that demand. So there's... Uh, about a 500% increase in the number of jobs that mention generative AI. There's about a 6,000% increase in the demand for job seekers for these jobs. But there still is, I think, a mismatch the other way in that the total amount of demand for AI talent far outstrips the number of AI professionals. It is still a small subset of overall job searches. It's less than 1% at this point. Indeed, also pointing out a surprising resilience this year in that labor market despite recession predictions and then the Fed's tightening. Even in tech, where we've seen waves of layoffs and steep valuation declines, workers have largely been able to find open positions. Certain areas, though, not holding up as well. Software development job postings down 51 percent. Information design down 44 percent. Mathematics down 40 percent. These are also sectors that boomed during the pandemic. Some of that is mean reversion here. And these happen to also be the areas, indeed, says are the most at risk for AI disruption. They do say the drop is more about valuations and corporate belt tightening, not necessarily the imminent threat of AI. And then, guys, the Bay Area, where I'm sitting right now, it's way underperforming. Job postings are down 30 percent compared to a national average of 16 percent. Indeed, says it's likely due to about half of the jobs listed here having a remote option. Back to you. That's really interesting. Uh, I do want to go back to this, though, um, the, where we are seeing the bigger job postings or, or, I guess, drop in job postings that aren't AI related. How easy it is? Is it for those prospective employees to be able to sort of switch gears and apply the skills they already have to some of these more AI, generative AI focused openings? Or is there going to be reskilling involved? Yeah, you would think software development, mathematics, those are things that go hand in hand with generative AI. And it is sort of a broad term, right? If you can interact with generative AI, if you can find a way to use it and really become proficient at chat GPT, you're likely going to find those opportunities. Those skilled workers, things like those talents that you have are likely transferable. And then you're also seeing in tech a lot of layoffs, but those people are, for the most part, able to find other jobs elsewhere. And so you're not seeing it really show up in the numbers. People may be going through layoffs, but they're able to find another option out there. Interesting mismatch. I know he mentioned AI. The other thing is a mismatch in remote work. Indeed pointed out this surge in people searching for remote work. There are not nearly enough remote jobs out there. So you're also seeing the impact of return to the, to the office out there. Employers are not as eager to list those jobs that might be remote. Mm. Key point. Kate Rooney, thanks for joining us.